so summer is not even done yet, but we're already discussing uh, next year's uh, gardening plants. Yeah. So we're trying to figure out, uh, because we would like to grow some more vegetables next year, right? I think it's important to already think about it now, because mm. the season is so... Uh, Short. <laughs> so short. Yeah. So I think it's good to like, what is it we want from next year actually? Yeah. I think next year could be really nice to do some potatoes and stuff like that. Like I really miss from Denmark having new potatoes. Yeah. Mm. And the garden right now is right up there. So we're thinking to basically level this out, not the trees and everything, but uh, all the bushes and stuff. Uh, and make this into a longer garden basically all the way up from the little opening to the garden there and all the way down there so we have talked about for many years now to get uh, our own chickens uh, but we had never figured out how to do it or where to do it because the problem is that uh, we're traveling to Denmark quite often mm. uh, a few times a year which makes it tricky uh, to like yeah we can't leave the chickens or the animals we want for that long Mm. Uh, but we have to just go for it next year, I think, mm. if we're gonna ever have it. So, what was I have an idea where to put the, the chicken coop? Yeah, I would like you to show me because I, I'm not quite sure what you mean actually. Mm. Okay. So our little road yeah. to the road is here. Exactly. And the cabin is up there, just to yeah. orient, orient people a bit. Up there, and oh. this is gonna be the new garden. Yes. Um. Not all the way down here, but a big chunk of it at least. And okay. then I don't want the chickens to be right right next to our bedroom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I think it's better to actually keep it here on the right side of the of the, the road. But how would you, I'm just thinking there's so much we need to cut down then, isn't there? And not We're trees just, and stuff. It's no, not trees of course, but just bushes. And if we just put the chickens here they can roam not free, but they have a big area to walk around in. Mm. Yeah. But I would like to move the chickens around a bit as well. I don't want it to be in one spot. No, but how do you do... Oh, now I'm just... I've never had chickens. So how no. do you do that with a house? I had it growing up, chickens. We had 12 chickens, I think. Yeah, 10 or 12. Uh, and we had them roaming around free on the yard. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Hi. Uh, and then they were free most of the time. Yeah. But then we locked them in in the evening when they got dinner basically yeah okay uh, because then they could roam around the garden eat uh, but that's you know. that was not my question <laughs> my yeah. question was the house for the chickens yeah i know you have them free through the day but mm -hmm. the house for the chickens how do you move that around that is a you big can, house yeah but you can use it as a, you know greenhouses you know those like uh, uh, round ones you yeah know I mean? uh, you can have those and you put wheels on those and they push that around but then it needs to be more like a lawn yeah. than uh, actual forest. Because uh, we need a house. <laughs> Nala is lonely there. Uh, Tuss, go home. Go home, Tuss. This is when Tuss is leaving her. Go home. <laughs> Tuss, you're husky. Go home. <laughs> go home. Go home. Go home. Yo. Go home. All the way to us. All the way, Casa. All the way home. Oh my god. Because we need a, a proper chicken house uh, for the winter and for all the animals we have here. Yeah, and then we also need so. to think about the chicken breed uh, that can stand yeah. uh, this kind of climate. Because yeah. the chicken breed I grew up with is going to be very different from what we need here. Yeah, that's so. true. And I think we don't really want the chicken coop and everything else on this lot up here where the other buildings are with like the sauna and the the random cabin and the main the main cabin because i feel like that should be like living cabins and then down here you have the gardens the chicken coop and so on um, but it's very tricky i always say that you should live in a spot at least for one or two years before you start building and renovating because you need to figure out where you're moving what paths you're taking, what feels natural to you and the property. Uh, but now I've lived here for six years, so I should be able to take some decisions at least. So today we're doing something very special. We're doing the very last puzzle piece of my cookbook. So me and Andreas are doing the 
what we call the cover art, cover photo, uh, that is going to be on the cookbook. So now we're just making a complete mess in the living room, trying to organize it to make a bit like a pretty chaos. So we're filling the table with different kind of stuff and food, like lanterns, bread. And now Andreas is trying to organize and make it a bit pretty. And then we have cleared the whole background here. Uh, so all the books on the bookshelf and everything is down. So it makes a bit of a cleaner, cleaner background. We have bought some of the greens we're using in the picture on or in the supermarket, but most of it we're actually taking here from our own garden. So we have green kale, zucchini, uh, mint behind me here. So we're going to try to decorate the table with stuff that we already have from home, which just makes it a bit more organic, I guess. <laughs> I mean, look at this guy. This is way too big to have in the picture, but can you see how big it is? Massive zucchini. Och så lite mer av ditt höger. Ja. Så, bra. Okej. Okay. Ska maxa. Och den ligger bra i handen här tycker du? Ja, det tycker jag. Mm. Vi kan testa lite olika sen. Så so that's a wrap on the cover photo. We spent how many hours? Like four hours? Yeah, we spent at least a half an hour, an hour in the, in the what do you call it? The, grocery store picking out stuff and then decorating the table took like two hours yeah. at least and for then one photo for one <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you better like the photo so i want to tell you two things before we move on to the next portion of this video firstly a massive massive thank you for all the sweet comments on the video we uploaded last week. It was the true story about our son's birth that got very, very complicated. Uh, and that's why it took so long for us to upload that video or even record it to start with. Uh, but it was amazing to just sit, hit upload and sit and read all these amazing comments and very supportive and yeah, you are the best community ever. I just want to say thank you for that. Secondly, I would like to share some really exciting news. Christine and I have recently spent some time in Denmark and most of the time we spent there was trying to brainstorm what the next thing should be for this channel. Because we feel like we want to go get back to the roots of how we started this channel of creating videos together as a family. Because the last year or two maybe even, I've been making these videos on my own mostly and Christina have been doing her videos on her channel. But we want to come together as a team again and make videos as a channel. May make videos as a family on this channel. And we have come up with a concept, or it was actually Christine's idea. Uh, she came up with a concept of make, basically making a little TV series here on YouTube. So we're gonna divide it up into episodes and seasons and naming it uh, our journey home. It has a kind of a double meaning, both literally moving back together again, moving home, our journey home, uh, but also in the sense of like coming home on what a home should be. It's gonna be a lot of renovations, talk about emotions, about living this way. Uh, I don't wanna give too much away, but we are super excited. And a part of why I'm, why I'm sharing this with you, besides just teasing it, is also because I have a tiny little goal for myself to reach 300, can't even say it, 300,000 subscribers here on this channel before the end of the year. I know we're quite far off still, I think we're missing 22,000 or something, but I've been stagnant on this number 
278 or something for a very long time. Uh, and I'm trying to reach 300,000 board before the end of the year. Uh, so if you're watching this and aren't subscribed, feel free to do so because then you will get a notification when we're also going live with this new series in a few weeks. I was just gonna make some breakfast, like eggs and bacon and a few pieces of bread, but realized very quickly that we don't have any bread. Uh, I must have had it as a snack last night or something, but what I do have is a brand new oven, all the ingredients for bread, because I'm not driving over an hour to the supermarket to get bread if I can make it at home. And we just need to let them cool off for about 15 minutes. Then we can start eating. got a package from our friends at A New Sweden and I've never on this channel ever talked about a sponsor uh, without getting paid uh, but with these guys I made a specific deal because I believe so much in their product and what their values are. They are a clothing company based and founded in Sweden. Uh, they make these wool shirts that you have seen me wear in basically Every video. <laughs> Every video for the last two years. 
ever say you're, you're not really wearing anything else actually no. at home and also when we out yeah yeah that, that's what he's wearing yeah, i wear it all the time i have a hoodie and i have this uh, sweatshirt because i think it's a genuinely the best product i have ever used in my entire life and you and i talk a lot about how important it is what kind of uh, clothing we're having on not just like stuff we're putting in our bodies when it comes to food but how important it is what we're putting on our skin with like like um, uh, the skin is one of our largest organs um, on the body and um, and we are you know if we have shitty clothing on that goes into our bloodstream and can disrupt uh, hormones um, and especially when we live here in the north mm -hmm. wool is just the best solution like yeah. it it's just it's unbeatable yeah. like you rarely rarely should wash it uh, it's self washing basically just hang it hang it outside for a bit and mm. let it air through uh, it never smells it's extremely warm the three products we're going to show you today is this uh, sweatshirt and then we have a wool dress for Me. Christine <laughs> she's very excited about that one yeah. and then we have this this hoodie as well. Hoodie is actually the one I wear the most, I would say. Super high quality, handmade in Sweden. I'm gonna live in this for winter, I can mm. already feel. Lisa and Anthony, that are the founder of this clothing company called A New Sweden, have been very kind to provide me with a 15% discount link. So if you click my link down below in the description, you will get 15% off when you buy one of these pieces. Enjoy! If you have any questions whatsoever, it can be about our lifestyle, our new constellation as a family, dogs, our work, leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to answer as many as I possibly can. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys very soon again.